want to speak to young men, their parents, and those who work to support men's education. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek. From Nesta Wings believes that the traditional path through college is not for everyone. We also believe that everyone has to determine their future for themselves. No systemic hurdle should keep anyone from where they want to be. Taking in all the education you can is an essential part of growing. Education takes work. Financing college takes work. Deciding who you want to be is exciting, scary, and takes work. More and more, men are choosing to turn away from college. The statistics are pretty straightforward. The percentage of males attending community college or four-year universities has been down for decades, with a rather significant drop-off in enrollment numbers for males in the last five years. Why has this become a decades-long trend? What causes men to choose not to move forward with their education? Here are the causes that are most often presented for why men are leaving education after high school. There is an assumption that boys and young men don't need to be academically encouraged, but that young women do. This starts in elementary school and continues for most of the foundational years that students are in school. Men are not celebrated for being academically focused. Males get more attention for behavior than brains. We as a society need to help all young students understand the advantages of learning and continuing one's education formally or informally throughout their lives. Parents, students, and educators need to make sure that young men are challenging themselves academically from the beginning of their educational careers. This includes AP or IB and college prep courses in high school, concurrent enrollment, or career and trade related coursework. In particular, a leading indicator of college preparedness is reading proficiency. Boys and young adults who have reading deficiencies are more likely to be frustrated by formal education and are more likely to leave school. Being comfortable reading any topic and gaining information through reading is something that parents, society, and each young man need to start working toward throughout school. Reading is an essential component of any job, not just employment that comes through education. The inability to read and comprehend the written word doesn't have to stop anyone. Learning disability support is available in local school districts and colleges. If it is a matter of practice or process, please contact your school counselor and ask for help or your favorite teacher or a coach with whom you have a relationship. Ask for extra work, ask for tips, ask for resources, ask. Young men can also be forced to move toward the workforce rather than school. Families are more likely to choose their sons to help support the family financially. Many, many families have needed this support as the pandemic changed reality for all of us. And that is where the problem lies. The money isn't everything and the path to money does not have to go through higher education. There is a large amount of research that indicates that the more education one gains, the more one earns throughout their lifetime. Generally, those with nothing more than a high school education make less money over their lifetimes than those with some college education who make less than those with a college degree, who make less than those who have an advanced degree. Having some training will give you a backstop, a direction to turn if your employment lapses, as happened at a higher rate for those without degrees during the pandemic. So if you're one of those individuals who need to help your family financially now, work to try and take a small course load of classes at the same time. Look for scholarships, work for a business that helps pay employees college costs, and see what level support your state offers. Some provide free community college for high school graduates from their state. Your classes can be scheduled at night or on weekends. Your employer may even be willing to build your work hours around your coursework. We are not saying this will be easy. Building a future never really is. Get started and build momentum. In this age of information literally at your fingertips, there are opportunities to self-educate, and many young men are working to make their futures out of the knowledge they can gain from searching the internet. Some individuals have been able to be very successful straight out of high school in opportunities that those young men created for themselves. Before you venture down this path, please recognize that each of those successful individuals has possessed a tremendous amount of focus, drive, intelligence, and willingness to continually assess what they don't know. 
Taking different pieces of information and putting them together in a self-taught curriculum is very challenging. To measure if you are capable of this quantum level of focus, measure your current abilities. Can you focus for extended amounts of time on one topic? Can you ask questions of others and take advice? Do you possess all the skills necessary to be successful in that field, such as reading skills, a strong understanding of math, spatial relationships, programming? Do you have the ability to grow your skill level in the areas necessary to be successful? If so, you need to be able to ask for help, sell yourself and your skills, and to support yourself as you move from opportunity to opportunity. If not, stay with a formal education a bit longer as you grow those skills. And one of the most significant challenges to men being involved in higher education is money. Even more, it is being able to justify the time, energy, and money that earning an education takes. While the cost of education is high, there are a greater number of options available to help pay for school. Check out our Finance and College playlist to help you make well-informed decisions about paying for school. These videos speak to securing scholarships, filing your FAFSA, utilizing state-based resources, merit aid, employer-based aid, and more. Other options are available, such as joining the military to earn the GI Bill, joining Teach for America, or working with other organizations that exchange college costs for the chance to earn experience. Your choice of colleges also impacts your costs. Research the cost of each school, the amount of time it will take to earn a degree or certificate, and the amount of financial aid assistance provided by each school. There are ways to work through the costs of college. Speak with your high school counselor, the admissions counselor and financial aid staff of any college, trade school, or community college you wish to attend. Ask for a better understanding of how to pay for college, and more importantly, how to set yourself up to be academically successful. And then make choices about what you want to be, the best way to get there, and how you can make it happen. One last challenge that seems to affect men more than women is understanding and completing the application process. More men do not follow up on the needed transcripts, recommendations, and test scores if necessary. Men who meet the acceptance standards are getting attention from colleges. Admissions offices know that they need to find a better balance between men and women as students in their schools. Complete your applications on time. Be thoughtful with your essay and short answer questions. Be involved in high school and your community, and then file a complete application. Give yourself a strong chance at being accepted to college. For decades, there have been special programs designed to increase the number of women pursuing education after high school. Now our society finds itself in need of a readjustment. We need to encourage more men to extend their education without undermining the percent of women who are pursuing their futures. Colleges need to allow for a balance of men and women while enabling each student to become the best version of themselves that they wish to be. As a society, we need to steer our young men to earn as much education as possible. This will allow them to maximize their earning potential, have options when the economy is less favorable, and build the confidence that comes from earning a future. Gentlemen, please continue your education. Work to build a future that allows you to be who you want to be. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.